We are absolutely thrilled to be joined now by Mia Batad. How are you doing today, Mia? Hi, I am fantastic. Remind the listeners, if you will, in what year did you graduate? I graduated in 2019. 2019. And ever since then, you've been trying to survive outside of the BH walls, but it looks like you're absolutely thriving. How's it? Uh, so what's going on these days? Um... I was going to say not much out of habit, but really it's it's been a lot, especially because I haven't caught up with uh, anyone from school in a while. But yeah, right now I'm at the University of Manitoba studying computer science. I'm in my third year presently. Um, and as for right now, what I'm doing is I'm on a co-op work term at Ubisoft. So that's uh, where I'm sat right now. It's a very nice place to be. So just in case people aren't quite as, you know, techie as I am, uh, can you tell us just in general uh, what Ubisoft does? Uh, they are a video game company. So it's, a, yeah, I guess at a very high level, it would be making games. Um, yeah. <laughs> at this studio, there's also some stuff about like tools and technologies. So making tools that help people make better games faster, I think <laughs> is how um, one of my em employers put it. So uh, is a, well, a little bit of that. Well, that's amazing. It sounds, it sounds really interesting. Um, can you just elaborate, take us back to, uh, take us back to what after, like right after graduation, tell us a little bit about that since I left BH story. Yeah. Um, so I, oh gosh, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, floundering now because it's it feels like I graduated BH like two weeks ago but it's been three years <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a very odd time perception happening especially with COVID but um honestly yeah it, I was very worried about the transition phase from high school to university um being in the same city with um, my family and you know that I I'm more familiar with definitely helped um for sure some of the stress away because i feel as though if you're going out of province you have so much stuff to worry about you know being in a new city um meeting a bunch of new people you're it's a lot less familiar so for me i could kind of throw myself uh, head first into my studies and such since i didn't have to worry so much about um being in a new scary place yeah, no, absolutely. No, that make that makes a lot of sense. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how BH and how specifically LP, uh, Miss LePage, <laughs> has prepared you for this next step through the computer science program here at BH? Oh, so much. Like, I would say um, having a good selection of AP courses was really helpful. Um, I was able to knock out a lot of my prerequisites for the degree because I had taken them in high school already. Um, and especially the AP computer science courses I was able to take were are, are super beneficial. Um, I wanna say the first year and a good portion of the second year is is stuff that we've, the stuff that we covered, especially because Mrs. LePage was so, um, what's the word? Very thorough. Um, I remember all the lessons that were like, yeah, this isn't actually going to be on the exam, but we're going to talk about it anyway. And then it came up in university and I was like, ha ha. Yeah, there it is. This. Uh, Ms. LePage, do you have uh, any reaction to that? Sorry, you stop. Uh, I am so pleased because it is good to, to hear that being a little extra and making it a little harder before <laughs> makes it a little easier in the future so <laughs> <laughs> sounds good so Mia I know it, it has it seems like it's only been two weeks so maybe there's too many to choose from but uh what do you remember about your time here at BH um I oof. <laughs> I don't know there's a really specific BH atmosphere that that's really stuck with me and it's so different from university because BH was such like a small and tight knit community that it, it sticks out a lot because it's something that I, that I kind of miss. Uh, I might be skipping ahead here a bit, but um, yeah, like being able to be in class and, you know, just know the name of everyone who's there with you or have had a conversation with everyone. Um, it's, it's super nice. I know 
BH family is a, a word that gets thrown around a lot. I think I made gratuitous use of it when I was a alumni prefect, but it's it's so true because even the people that I didn't know super well, I still feel like that kind of connection with them because it was so small. So I definitely remember that kind of community feeling. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it does come up. Uh, I guess you kind of alluded to it. So what do you miss most beyond, let's say that that family feel or in addition to, I should say. Sure, sure. Um, honestly, <laughs> I miss having girls in my class, which is, I guess, the biggest <laughs> um, The ratio of, of, uh, of men to gender minorities in STEM, it's not as bad as I was expecting, but it's still pretty bad. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's nice though, because um, there's a lot of support in place for finding uh, women who are in the same degree. Like I do have a lot of close friends. You can kind of curate your experience um, by choosing where you spend time, who you hang out with. Nice. Uh, Miss LePage? I believe that you are a part of a few uh, associations or groups, correct me? Yeah, yeah. Um, so the, the main club I'm talking about, I suppose, would be Women in Computer Science or Wix for short. Um, super helpful for me. I remember I, I wandered into one of their meetings in my first year and it was just this really great supportive community and they run a bunch of events that are really helpful for networking and like workshops about technical skills and interview preps and, and whatnot. Some of them are exclusive to women, so you get the chance to meet um, more like-minded women in that field and talk about uh, gender specific issues that can kind of get overshadowed when there's uh, other other people there who, who, who can't relate. Um, so yeah, I am a member of the uh, executive team. I'm a social media coordinator this year. So I've been uh, posting updates on Instagram about our events that are happening and whatnot. And it's really great to have a role that lets me communicate directly with other people who are uh, club members. Well, that sounds that sounds great. I, I wonder if you can narrow it down. This is a really hard one. <laughs> what is your favorite quote? Favorite BH memory? Ah, uh, um, I really wanted to come to this with a specific story, but there's so much to unpack. <laughs> um, I suppose I have a lot of really fond memories from uh from grade twelve particularly because that's the year where I really started to branch out, talk to people outside of my grade, um, you know, spend more time, like just talking to teachers, hanging out. Um, I really loved um, being a part of robotics club and, yeah, you know, yes. it's something that comes up, comes up a lot in my resumes. I won't lie, but I just remember it's, it was just very nice to be, um, you know, there kind of after hours, the hallways are a little quiet. You have uh, Mrs. LePage's 80s playlist on uh, Spotify. <laughs> like, yeah, every so often, whenever one of those songs comes on the radio, I'm just like transported back there. It's actually insane. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really like to think of an anecdote though. Um, I would say something, I've been talking a lot about uh, STEM and the computer science related stuff that I, I did in, in high school. But if we were to talk about, um, I don't know, maybe something more on the humanities arts side, I my favorite BH story is still probably um, when I had written an essay on Othello um, in Mr. Kerr's English class. And I, I really enjoyed that one. Um, it was probably one of my favorite uh, Shakespeare plays that we studied. And I just had some, kind of interesting ideas that I stumbled upon about, you know, characters, motivations, and um, kind of, I guess, unconventional ideas that we didn't really explore in class. So I wrote about that and, you know, I'm avoiding talking about it because, you know, Othello spoilers. Um, <laughs> but I remember having my one-on-one -on -one critique with Mr. Kerr. And so he, he looks me dead in the eye and just goes, okay, convince me and I'm like I was I was so like I felt like a deer in the headlights um, but no it was it was really great I I just that experience of being able to um I don't know explore new ideas and it's something I wasn't really used to um just taking English in general because I'm generally more of a 
technology oriented person, I didn't, I wasn't very used to um, examining, I guess, media in that kind of way. So that was a lot of fun for me, that class. Well, that's, that's awesome. That's a great story. I know Mr. Kerr will love to hear that. Maybe we'll get <laughs> the story as well. Uh, lastly, before we let you go, I know you're busy. Um, any advice that you would give to our current BH students? I know there's probably, again, we could talk to you for hours about this, but uh, give me one snippet of advice if you can. Sure. Um, the most important one probably is, okay, so I was going to say that, um, oh yeah, it's no rush, like degrees don't have a time limit, but I feel like you hear that a lot and it doesn't make it any less stressful. <laughs> so <laughs> I suppose what I'd want to say is um, it's really productive to stop thinking about what you're learning as what you can use and more like seeing it as learning how to learn if that makes sense because sure. there's a lot of times where you'll you'll be in a class that you don't intend on pursuing and you're thinking I'm never going to use this like why am I learning this you know this is this isn't going to help me but even though I haven't used like you know um the the formula for I, I don't know. I was going to name something offhand, but I don't want to <laughs> offend my old teachers. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I would focus less on um, memorizing everything and having all your definitions like perfect and more about exploring how you learn the best, um, what kind of study habits benefit you and exactly that learning how to learn because when you're learning things that are going to come up, in the workforce or like if you plan on doing a co-op job when you're learning things that are going to come up there then you'll know how to make information stick in your brain uh, a lot easier so a little uh shift in mentality can make a big difference yeah very very well said thank you for that i know that we'll uh the listeners and, and our students will take that to heart and we certainly hope that once everything opens up a little bit more that you come back into the walls of BH, share more wisdom in it live in person with our students and even just to, just to sit around and, and have a chat to catch up. It's been great to see you again and to, and to talk to you. Uh, congratulations on moving forward so quickly, it seems, in the career and all the best moving forward. Yeah, thank you so much. It was really great to, to have this little chat. Um, I, I really hope to be able to, to visit in the near future. Absolutely. Anytime. Take care, Mia. It was great to see you again. Yes, you too. Bye-bye. <laughs>